All right, in this unit section, whatever, uh, there will be some manipulating of formulas. And um, you guys have done some of this already. It's just that usually the, I don't know, the variable that we are trying to manipulate for is already in some numerator somewhere or it wasn't in a fraction. Uh, but now they're going to be in the denominator. So if we can find common denominators amongst all the terms, then again, we kind of get to ignore all of the denominators. Whether that helps or not right here, I don't know, but we'll do some examples as well. Um, if you can combine like terms, then do that. Sometimes we may have to factor out the variable that we're looking for. It just depends on how it sets up. So, but this is a very general way to look about this. For example, right here, we're going to solve for u. Um, so if we can get common denominators, which we could look at, or if we solve this using cross multiplication, which in that case, we may need to see this as t over 1. I don't know. Depends on how you want to look at it, because this is technically proportional. Um, whatever, whatever the case, it's not really going to make a difference. Um, I don't know. I think I prefer to see this as I need to multiply both sides by u, uh, 1 minus u. So I, I don't really need that divided by 1 here. What that will do is it will cancel out the 1 minus u's over here. Now, what we're left with is this 1 minus u. Then we still have our t. And this would now equal what's left on the right side is just this, this e value here. Now, our objective is to solve for u. So we have that term with the u, that binomial, 1 minus u. But it's being multiplied by the t. So if I can just divide both sides by t, then I at least have that binomial by itself, right? So the t's cancel out in this case. And I'm left with 1 minus u. And this equals e divided by t. And since I have the binomial by itself, now it's not being multiplied by anything, added or subtracted anything. It's just 1 minus u. So from here, uh, since that's a positive 1, I, if I subtract 1 from both sides, see what I did there, just like solving a regular equation. Then I'm left with a negative u equals e divided by t minus 1. Well, that's a negative u. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this and divide both sides by negative 1. Um, so I kind of have to look at it like this. Divide by negative 1 there. That seems a little confusing to me, so I'm going to I'm going to take that stuff back actually. What I'm going to do instead of doing that because that seems a little confusing is I am going to just change the signs on the right side and the left. So instead of having a negative u, I'm going to have a positive u, so I change the sign, but I'm going to change the signs on the right side as well. So that'd be a negative e over t. And instead of it being minus 1, now I got a plus 1. Just one quick thing about this is um, I'm okay with this format. I mean, we have solved for u. We know what it is. If this were asking for another expression or were uh, some type of system of equations, we know what we could substitute u for. Uh, what they seem to want, if I remember right, on this was a single fraction. So 1 would be 1 over 1. So I need common denominators of t. That's why I would multiply 1 by t and this 1 by t. So that would give us a negative e over t plus t over t. So I have our common denominators. We make this one fraction. We're just going to combine the numerators. Negative e plus t and we'll divide this by the common denominator t. Again, I'm okay with what we had before, but I think formally on 
in the homework. That's what they want. Yes.